G prime changes from negative to positive. Uh huh. Which happens where? F changes from negative to positive. Uh huh. Which happens where? X equals one. No way. It doesn't. Mm. Oh, because it's not a line? Never. Because it doesn't actually change sign. It goes oh, negative right. to yeah, negative. Yeah, yeah. So yes. at x equals negative 1, we have a max, right? Yeah. A yeah. local max. And at x equals 0, I'm sorry, x equals 1, that one is neither. And you see how that's part of the question? It says that it can be neither? Yeah. Yeah. So a little bit tricky, a little bit tricky. Um, so basically what I'm doing, my process here is I'm using my bamboo slate. So I'm using the bamboo slate and I just put in um, a lined piece of paper because I like that any legal pad will work with the slate. And then I use the specific pen and then I use Zoom to do my recording. So with Zoom, I'm able to mirror what is on my phone to my computer screen. So that's what you're seeing right here. This is actually just my um, iPhone. So right there, I open up the Inkspace app, which is the app that you use with the bamboo slate. And then I'm able to just write. So if I'm gonna do this problem here, the integral from zero to one of x root x minus one dx, then you can see that I'm just writing on here. It's actually mirroring to my, um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, my screen right here. And I'm just mirroring that on my computer screen. So within the Inkspace app, just using live mode. And when I use live mode, I can see on my phone screen, which you can't really see, um, I can see the writing in real time. But what I'm doing is I'm mirroring my phone screen to my computer screen using Zoom right now. Or you could use, if you're using a Mac, you can use QuickTime Player to also do a screen recording of whatever is projecting from your phone. And so I just project that. And so this way I can wirelessly write anywhere. And I'm just writing right here. So u equals x minus one. So as I'm writing here, you can see that it is just coming up on my screen so easily. So I use this um, when I'm doing my online class so that I can see all my students talking and I can just write on a piece of paper. It's so easy to write. It's so clear for students to see. And then what's amazing too is once I'm done with everything, I just press the button and it all uploads. So then I go into my Inkspace app. And for example, these were our notes from tonight that we had taken. And so I have a record of all of the notes that we did as a class. And what I can even do, let me just bring you back to the app. So this was the app that I'm in on my phone. You're seeing it right here. So if I take one of the pages of notes for tonight, you can see that we actually have a class Slack channel and that's how I communicate with all my students online. And so what I can do is, let me just take the first page of notes. This is the first page of notes that we did tonight and I can just press that share button. I can export it as some different file types. I'm gonna just export it as a picture right now. And then I can just press import with Slack right there and then I choose which channel I want to share it with so chapter five and then um, I'll just call it notes from online session page one then I press that check mark and boom it's right there it's uploaded as easily as that so I think that's pretty awesome I don't have to do anything more than that to get my notes. Let me just show you again how easy it was. I'm gonna to go to, this was page two that we had. So I'm gonna share it as a picture file. Again, I'm gonna just import with Slack and sharing it to that same channel. This is page two and boom, there it is. I'm sharing it for all my students to see. So it's pretty amazing.